Hey loves, Jay here with your monthly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Sagittarius placements anywhere in your chart, you are 100% welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We're going to hop right into your spiritual insights here, Sagittarius. And what I'm feeling from you, for you uh, is an intense month during the month of May. Okay, for, this is for some of you. Not going to resonate with everyone out there, so take what parts that resonate and apply it to your life however it fits. Um, not sure what challenges may arise for you, but you're going to be working through something. Okay, and some of you already know what that working through something is. Okay, I feel exhaustion coming up from you. And for, for some, this exhaustion revolves around some of your relationships that has given you a headache. Some of you are needing some time alone because I'm feeling a very strong depletion during the remainder of May into June. I feel that some of you are ready to turn your back on something or on someone because I can see you throwing in, throw, throwing up your hands and like you're washing your hands of a situation, okay? You're throwing in the towel. I could hear you saying it has been a long time coming, okay? So this is definitely something some of you have been going through for a while. And some of you are also biting down or grinding your teeth due to stress. So be aware of stress levels increasing and find an outlet that will lighten your load and increase your frequency. That's most important during this time. And there may also be a little conflict or altercation that arises. I feel like we came I feel like we talked about this in the last reading or you know some of you may have had an altercation with someone already and this could be coming up for some of you and again not going to resonate with everyone. But this lets me know that you need a time out to regroup and get your happy back, okay? Your guides are saying to you, Sagittarius, I love you, okay? Some of you need to hear, I love you more often, and you need an action put behind the words. But just know that the universal love is the most powerful love of them all, and it's unconditional, it doesn't discriminate. I feel like you will be in a, in a hopeful place, and your load will be lightened sometime in the month of June, okay, not sure when that's going to be for you, okay, but the month of June, convince yourself, not others, is your universal message, <laughs> very interesting, convince yourself, not others, some of you are telling a story to other people that you don't fully believe, okay, the need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving, What's, what's important here, though, is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. So convince yourself, not others. The angel number we chose for you, if you're seeing the number 2112, this is confirmation, validation for you, that it's up to you, Sagittarius. It's up to you. This is saying that someone is watching over you, that good fortune is on your side, um, there's unforeseen forces and direction, okay? So gaining clear direction, seeing clear direction. Even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, things are moving in the right direction. So if you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true soon. So 2112 is your number. It's up to you. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Whatever situation you're finding yourself in right now, you definitely need some guidance, you need some assistance, and you definitely need the help of the divine being so you don't pop the hell off, okay? <laughs> Ask Archangel to help you with this situation and know that you are guarded and protected, okay? So if you're feeling unsafe, you can use a mantra um, for yourself, you know, I am safe. I am safe in my space. I am safe in my energy. I am safe in my spirit. Whatever resonates with you, you are guarded and protected here. Um, nothing will come of this situation. Okay, so convince yourself, not others, because nothing is coming from this situation. And then um, it was the void, of course, moon. And then we have communication is key. That's coming up. This is the new moon in Gemini, which is actually coming up June 6th. The new moon in Gemini, yes. June 6th is the new moon in Gemini. And look at this. We pulled a divine timing card, which says summertime. Okay, so June, as we know it here in the Southern Hemisphere, is 
the month of June, June 21st is where the solstice is, but June is a month where communication is key. So you're going to be making decisions, talking about things that you need. You know, you need to talk about the, the amount of love that you need. You need to talk about you need to get rid of somebody. You need to let somebody go. You need to let somebody have it. You need to throw in the towel with somebody. Like you telling somebody off. I don't know. There's quite a few things that could be coming up for you here. Okay. So nothing will come of the situation, but communication is key, even though talking about it may be um, beneficial for you and to you, nothing's going to come of that situation, okay? That sucks, but I definitely feel like you need to speak about whatever this is that you may be experiencing with someone, it feels like in particular. All right, let's get your, clear, your cards out here. Great Spirit of the Most High, we ask for the most divine, highest messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or um, they have that anywhere in their chart. Know that we seek the truth, even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm. You see how this is this shuffle is a mess, okay? Some of you are feeling disheveled, okay? I'm going to put this Four of Swords back in here, but this did want to pop out, which lets me know that some of you are needing to rest. Take a little time out. Remember, I'm saying like taking a break from something. I think I mentioned that taking a little time out um, to regroup and get your and get your happy back is important. Okay, because some of you may have withdrawn or been in a negative position, but you definitely need to recover. Okay, from something here. All right, messages for Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Four of Swords reverse. We just put the Four of Swords there <laughs> back in the deck. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles reversed. We have the Two of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Wands reversed. All right, so let's see what's happening for you here, Sagittarius. We, we have, let's see, we have any major arcanas here? Nope, no major arcanas. Okay. All right. So we have the number five is number four. Oh, four. We have one, two. I just saw two fours and number five. Uh, the number two. Okay, so balancing, building foundation, um, a little bit of conflict, a little bit of turbulence in between you moving on from something. Okay, and taking taking back your power is what I'm feeling. Okay, um, I, I definitely feel I'm hearing like you've turned your back on something. Some of you have turned your back on yourself, convincing your convince yourself. You've been convincing others instead of you. So I definitely feel like some of you have been not not being true to yourself. OK, and then actually speaking that truth out into the universe. Some of you are withholding the truth from yourself and you know exactly what you need to be doing to move forward in situations. Some of you are not taking care of yourself in this moment. OK, you're just sort of going. You're flying is what I'm hearing. You're just flying like you're just existing and just doing the things and you're not really taking care of you, taking care of you, self-love, self-care. And, and, then, and I feel like there's a level of resentment that could be coming up, despair, dishonesty, um, not feeling hopeful about where life is going, you know, turning your back to things that make you happy because you're just sort of putting your head down, you're going, you're just in this position. Some of you are in this place and in Sagittarius, it seems like it seems like it's a theme across a lot obviously it's the human race we're all going through something but it, it seems very similar to what a lot of people are going through a lot of the signs like i'm just thinking of just you know scorpio libra pisces 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 have been in this energy for a long time and actually are coming out of that energy but it definitely feels like there are multiple signs that are in the same position of releasing 
you know, releasing old baggage and outdated paradigms. So I definitely feel like there's been a lot of disappointment that has come up for you that you're trying to walk away from and really trying to take care of yourself. But it feels like you don't know what to do to take care of yourself. You don't know how to get yourself out of a situation. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to respond. You don't know how to move forward. But it's because you're disconnected from yourself. Okay, and this is not going to resonate with everyone out there. Okay, take the pieces that do and apply it to your life in whatever category it fits for you, okay? But some of you are disconnected from yourself because you're just going. Some of you are operating out of fear, which is why you're in a position of coexisting and just going going with the flow, but not 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 of not your natural flow. It doesn't feel like an organic flow. Okay, so I don't know if you're going with the flow of someone and you're not authentically being you or speaking up, speaking your truths or you know, saying what needs to be said or doing what needs to be done. But it definitely feels like um, you're not in your leadership role. And I, and I do feel very strongly, Sagittarius, you are a leader at heart. But I'm feeling like you're not in a leadership role right now. It feels like you've sort of taken a back seat and you're really trying to find yourself. You're really trying to get back into the, the driver's seat, okay, and really take control. But it feels like it has been a struggle for some of you. It has, it has been a, a back and forth because there's been a lot going on emotionally, spiritually for you. There's a lot going on in the world. I'm feeling a strong emotion now of like wanting to cry. Some of you are feeling extremely overwhelmed um, with life in relationships and just life in general. Where the whether that is a relationship, your job, your money, about how you're going to make more money, you, you're tired of being in the job or the career that you're in, and you want to change, and you're not sure where you, what you should do, where you should go. There's a lot of things that you're juggling, and there's a lot of things that are on your plate, which distracts you from being creative and figuring out what your next step is. And this is the why. This is the reason why I feel like some of you are not in the leadership role. You're in the back seat. Okay, with no seatbelt on. <laughs> no, your seatbelt is on. I feel like you have your seatbelt on because it feels like you feel stuck. Okay, like you, you're, you're not free to move about. Um, and so I, I feel like the next step is taking the seatbelt off. And the step after that is getting out of the car. And the next step after that is walking around the car and opening the door to the driver's seat and then sitting in it and then putting your seatbelt back on and, and driving away. Okay, so... You know, those. it feels like you just have to take baby steps, okay? It, it doesn't feel like you can just put everything down and just boom, like skip steps. You can't do that. It definitely feels like you are needing to take baby steps in something in order to get back, get back or to get to a position that you want to be at, okay? Because I do feel like there has been some adversity that has come into play. And again, you're feeling a sense of feeling depleted. Some of you are not even talking about the depletion and the exhaustion that you feel. You're holding on to that because you're creating this story, this narrative. You're painting this picture that everything is fine. But do you know what fine means? Fucked, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. Okay? You need to be feeling amazing. Okay? You need to get back to that amazingness. Okay? So... Your overall energy for this month is the Knight of Wands, which is definitely your energy here. And again, like I said, some of you are turning your back to really taking care of yourself because you're so in this energy of feeling like what has gone wrong. I feel sad. I feel a little lost. My heart is heavy. I don't know what else to do. So let me just find something that I can just do impulsively um, or something I'm passionate about in the moment or fulfill a desire just to get by okay that doesn't feel like it's authentically you in this moment so this knight of wands here is definitely saying that there is a level of energy that is coming in for you and when we break these cards down individually i'm just you know sort of feeling out the story with all of these cards but individually overall i feel that there is a new energy that could be coming in for you that where you're going to feel more extroverted, more enthusiastic about life. You want to, you know, be creative. So that means that you're doing the work, you're breaking down the barriers so that you can get into that driver's seat to allow your creativity to flow. 
not be in the unauthentic flow, but actually be in the natural flow, the flow of your true essence. So I definitely feel like there is a uh, level of inspiration that is coming in for you, which is really good. And it may come in for really fast for some of you during this time. Some of you may even decide, like, I'm going to change careers, and you may just take the action on that and do it, okay? It's very interesting because um, what I'm feeling is what I just came out of Scorpio's reading, and I automatically got a headache because there's a lot going on with Scorpio here. And I started your reading... And I'm like, okay, this headache is still lingering. Is it me? And I, I knew I was in Scorpio's energy and got into your energy or Sagittarius. Now that headache is, dissip is dissipating because I feel like the things that you have been thinking about and holding on to, the things that have been stressing you out, which is why some of you have been biting down or grinding your teeth because of your stress levels, I do feel that dissipating. So I feel that that heaviness that some of you have been feeling is definitely going to be going away. And it may go away right away. You may wake up one day or you might you be doing something in your day. You felt a certain way before and then in the next moment you're just like you don't even realize that you feel better. Okay? Because you are how you need or you're needing to change that narrative in order to step into something new. I'm also hearing some of you are are using imagery or need to use imagery to get through some of this heaviness that you may be feeling. Okay, so some of you are artists and also the Knight of Wands, I feel like is a very artistic person as well. But some of you are art artists, you're also very competitive. So this lets me know that you're finding an outlet this month. You're finding an outlet to um, to turn to so that you can release, whether that is you working out, going for walks, I'm hearing boxing, um, boxing, kickboxing, yoga, um, even pole dancing for some of you where you can tap into your passions and you can tap into that art, art, the artistry that's within you. Something that's going to allow you to be free flowing um, and be in this place of just exuding love and being in the flow. So I definitely feel um, an enthusiastic energy that is coming up for you here with the Knight of Wands. Let's pull one card around this. Why is the Knight of Wands here? So we have the, I um, feel like quite a few cards came out. The Will of Fortune, the Page of Pentacles, and then the Ace of Pentacles coming out for you. So yeah, I like this energy as your overall energy because this lets me know that things are changing, okay? Some of you have been going through a karmic phase with someone or just in general in your life, and things are beginning to turn in your favor. Things are looking up is what I'm feeling. It's like your true north, okay? You're moving up now, and I feel like this creative energy with the Page of Pentacles, and now you're beginning to, it's beginning to spark, okay? It's going to be spark. And some of you, this is going to be in regards to how you how you make money, how money flows into your life, what your job is, what your career is. I feel like there's going to be a change that is coming up in your career, in your life in general, that's going to offer you an opportunity to level up financially. Okay, so there is a spark of energy that is coming in for you during the month, during this month. So take advantage of it, okay? Because, again, things are shifting, okay? And remember, communication is, is key. So part of your communication is using imagery and artistry to express to the universe that you're ready to open up this new door because it's definitely going to be changing whether you're ready for it or not, okay? And so if you're not ready for this change that is happening for you, you may miss the opportunity. We don't want to miss the opportunity, okay? So we're giving you that how the will of fortune it goes page ace like i love this energy for you it it feels it feels amazing you look at this here right some of you may be juggling multiple things as i think about the two of pentacles and have multiple priorities that may be on your plate at some point okay where you're multitasking things but i do feel like you're going to be in your element because i just i feel also feel like you're just a natural multitasker okay and so i feel like when you have different outlets for your energy is when you feel at peace so overall, things are definitely looking up for you here, uh, Sagittarius. I love that energy for you. What we have in your um, obstacle position is the Four of Swords coming out for you reversed. So again, this is energy where some of you are not really taking care of yourself. You're feeling tired. You need more rest. You need some time off, time away. 
okay taking that break so that you can regroup so taking time away from work taking time away from people taking a little vacation you know well, even if it's a staycation whatever but it's like taking a break from always taking care of other things other people take care of you this is what this is what this is saying because i do feel like for some of you this can manifest as a dis-ease within the body your body is trying to tell you something okay and some of you are not listening which is why it is an obstacle or a challenge that you may face you don't want any physical dis-ease showing up in your body so honor your body when you need to rest rest okay that's most important spirit is wanting you to rest when you're listen to what your body is saying here okay and i'm, I'm looking at this sword here when i and, and i think about the ace of swords okay and the ace of swords is about communication okay it's about news so some of you could be receiving some news revolved around your health um so but this is reminding you here to really take care of yourself so getting um, mental clarity mental agility so this may mean you need to definitely sleep power down from your devices turn off your wi-fi router like um get some sleep don't watch tv and meditate like really just taking a step away from your norm because that is definitely overwhelming you okay so that is an obstacle challenge um, during this t this time, your your spirit body is trying to elevate, and you keep dimming it by adding all of these additional things on a day to day basis. And stress definitely does not help. Okay, what's where you're headed during this time is the Five of Cups. So again, where we talked about, there may be some altercation that you may have, some sort of conflict that comes up with you between you and someone. But there are feelings and like emotions again of feeling like you're lost. Um, this could be mourning as well some sort of grief of losing something or losing someone okay just make sure you stay out of regret okay but there is the um, there is an opportunity for um, a heavy heart you know in I don't know spirit is just asking you to um, cherish the moment that you're in okay because this is a new cycle that you are uh, you're headed towards okay and so you have to let go of the things that don't serve you anymore okay we have the ace of wands and the queen of swords that's coming out for the five of cups here so i'm i'm feeling like again news okay so this is news about some loss loss of something that you love of course, someone that you love, and I don't know if this shows up as death or this, it could feel like a death if there is some sort of breakup, friendship, intimate relationship, it doesn't matter, could even be a job for some of you as well, but it definitely feels like there is going to be a little bit of heaviness that comes up in conflict, but I feel like it offers you the opportunity to be able to move into something new, okay, to move into stability, Okay, so I don't even know. For some of you, this may be um, a physical loss for you where you, uh, you are now free from something. You are now gaining something. So it could show up in different ways, but it definitely feels like there is um, some loss that is coming up for you during this month. And this could be um, you just feeling uncertain having to adjust to the new norm okay and, and it definitely feels like that could feel like a death of losing everything that you knew everything that you had and having to start over okay but i do feel like you may be inspired to start over in whatever way that's going to look for you but definitely headed towards that what's coming towards you is the four of pentacles okay so this could be you feeling loss again loss 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 is coming up for you here Sagittarius and I don't like to say that but this is also material losing material things or money or a person and being in a position where you may feel a little unstable but this is also an opportunity for you to stay to save money but it doesn't feel like the happiest time that could be coming towards you but I feel like it's because it's a shift that is happening Remember I said in the beginning in your spiritual insights, spirit said that May is going to be a pretty intense month for you. 
uh, Sagittarius, and some of you are already experiencing that. But things are going to begin to shift in the month of June as we begin to shift into the summer solstice. Funny, I'm just like now feeling clogged up, okay? So I don't know if health could be coming up. Some, some of you could be having allergies, cold, flu symptoms. Um, but it feels like it throws you off a little bit. Look at that. Five. We have the five of cups. Now we have the five of wands. So you're disappointed behind relationships or money, whatever this is. Like you're battling a lot of things, okay, internally for some of you. Some of you are battling your kids. Some of you are battling siblings. So you're battling friends. It could show up in, in different ways for you as well, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. But there is a there is a level of, of, of happiness that can could can come in and some of you are feeling even feeling fulfilled by some of this I don't know loss. Maybe you are some of you are happy about letting go of someone or something. You, it's almost like you feel free. So it's almost like some of you have been wishing for something to transpire where you can just like let go and, and be free that's what I'm feeling especially with, with the nine of cups here because it's like it's chaos but then you're like I'm happy I'm happy that this is just done it's over with okay so that's that's what's coming towards you here and in your very near future you guys it is so weird that I just got congested I don't know what's happening right now in your energy but definitely going to need to get out of that very soon the two of pentacles is coming out for you reversed and uh, what's happening in your near future, um, there's a, a level of overwhelm that may come up for you. You're going to have to make choices about something and have to prioritize, obviously, what's most important. But you're going to have to remain focused here, okay? So some of you may may be in a position where you may, may be feeling financially unstable or you may be feeling unbalanced in some sort of way you're definitely going to have to find some sort of middle ground very interesting because the energy is all over the place and this is why um this congestion is reminding me that you guys need to take care of yourself like you need to take care of your physical body because there's a lot of lot going on in your energy here and i can see some of you getting sick okay we have the Ten of Cups and then the Five of Pentacles that's coming up. So this could be around your family and your finances, okay? So whatever this is that you're needing to, you're feeling a little um, imbalanced or disconnected from or somebody could be leading you astray in some sort of way. Someone, in, This could be a messy situation when it comes to family and money, okay? And that could even be between your friendships and money, okay? So that could be happening for some of you as well so if you are letting people borrow money from you Sagittarius <laughs> someone once told me if I let somebody borrow money I'm, I'm expecting that money not to come back it's just going to be a loss okay and we talked about loss here in your reading pretty prominent here so I don't know if you, you know, it's like a situation of you letting someone borrow money. You're expecting that money back because you have things to pay for, but you were just being generous to them in that moment and you never get it back. And now you're down and out. It's a bad situation. Okay. <laughs> so things are, I'm trying to clear up. Things are going to clear up, but you definitely need to take care of yourself. Your advice for the month is the 10 of Pentacles. So there is a level of, Material success that is coming in for you as well. And I'm hearing to focus your attention on family. So let me pull some clarifiers or not because I don't know if it's because there's conflict. There's money situations going on here. Or is this about you needing to love up on them even more? I don't know. We'll see here. The world card. And the six of wands. So for some of you, your family is your world and they mean a lot to you and they see you in a different light. What I'm feeling here now um, is some of you are convincing yourself. 
you're convincing yourself of something and not others. So some this makes me feel like you're not speaking your truth. You're not telling your truth. You're putting up a facade in front of people that you're not being authentically you for some reason, for whatever it is. And for some of you, it's in front of your family or it's in front of your friends. You're not sharing the story because, again, like I said earlier, you're painting a picture of things being okay instead of allowing yourself to be open and vulnerable. And if you need the help, your family is there to support you. Your friends are there to support you, okay? So that's what it, this feels like here. It really feels like it's you, Sagittarius, that need to open up a little bit more and accept the support and the help because the love is there for you. Some of you may feel like left out or you feel like, you know, you're the, the, the token child, not the token child. You feel like you're the black sheep of the family. I don't know with how this plays out for you. But I feel like you're telling that you're you've been telling your story. You've been telling this to yourself. You created that narrative for yourself when it actually wasn't even happening, happening. And it probably isn't even happening. But you've told yourself the story for so long that you believe it. Right. Your thought became a belief. Your belief turned into a habit and your habit habit became a pattern. And so now it's time to break this cycle, whatever it is, because you do actually have a lot of support if you need it here. So things are going to change. Spirit is saying things need to change when it comes to those that are important to you, that love you and you love them. Open, honest and transparent is what I'm hearing for you. OK, so in order for things to change in your life, you have to be open, honest and transparent. It doesn't matter whose feelings it's going to hurt because it will. And, but that's not your that's not your job to worry about how someone else is going to respond to your truth. Okay, so spirit is saying open, honest, and transparent, and people will see you. People will respect you. People will love you even more than you putting up this facade of things are okay. Your final outcome here is the nine of wands. Okay, so this is energy more of you know depletion discouragement losing losing energy you guys really 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 need to take care of yourself okay because some of you have lost yourself some of you are losing yourself and it feels overwhelming and it makes you respond in different ways that are abnormal to who you really are some of you are being conservative as well which is why i'm saying open honest and transparent some of you are protecting others, other people's feelings and emotions based off of you wanting to protect them when you're not and you're not being open, honest, transparent or protecting yourself from actually speaking your truth. Why is the nine of wands here? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Now it's coming out reverse. We started with it in your overall energy as upright. And then we have the star energy, which uh, this is our second major arcana here or the third. We have the Wheel of Fortune as well. Okay, so <clears throat> I, I, I'm feeling, you know, there's level, there's hesitation that's coming up for some of you. Maybe even a little bit of insecurity of sharing your truth. And I understand some of you are very private. Um, you're very private with your personal matters, but it does feel like you need to open up about something. You need to talk to someone, even if you are decide to hire a therapist, a counselor, whatever, a spiritual advisor, it doesn't matter. You can't hold on to this because, again, it is manifesting physically into a dis-ease within your body. And this is why some of you may be feeling like you're going, you're shutting down, you're getting sick. You're extremely tired because your body is trying to communicate with you, but you're not listening. So I'm here to tell you, we are here to tell you, this is an opportunity for you to heal, for you to shine, for you to be vulnerable, for you to express yourself, expose yourself, okay, in a way. And that when I say expose, it sounds negative, but this is an opportunity to be vulnerable, to pour out your emotions and that and you can use your discernment on what is what can be told and what should not be told. OK, but at the end of the day, this is an opportunity for you to share. That's what I'm feeling to share what it is that you're going going through, because some of you are holding on to a lot 
and it's dragging you and it's bringing you down okay I'm even here like I'm even feeling my throat closing up right now I don't know if you've noticed my voice shift <clears throat> you have to <clears throat> you have to speak your truth you have to open up you have to share because there is help and support that is there for you and it, they people want to help you Sagittarius so Keep that in mind. That's your final outcome is just letting yourself just open up because you're going to be feeling this. If you're feeling this dragging in your body, it is spirit saying you have to release. You have to open up. Okay? Open, honest, transparent. That is your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you all for letting me read with you. I don't like that I'm feeling this way in your energy, but thank you for allowing me to read with you. Thank you for sticking around. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if this reading resonates with you in any way. And also, it will let me know or let you know when I'll be putting out more Sagittarius readings. If you hit that personalized bell, be sure to like, comment below if you want to share any part of your journey with us here below. We'd be happy to hear from you. Uh, take care, guys, and um, really get some rest. This is very, very important for you to get that energy back during the month of June. Okay, be determined and inspired to get your energy back, get your happy back, get your sexy back. Okay, Sagittarius. Again, take care. Many blessings, love and light to you guys. Peace. <laughs>